Okay, on our display module here, our green button adds power and removes power. In your vehicle, obviously you'll have a button, a switch, or your keys to add power. With every one of our instruments, you're gonna get a complete wiring harness, the sending unit, and this momentary switch. This momentary switch is how we're gonna get us in a calibration mode. And what you do is you push and hold the switch and add power. Once it sweeps, you're now in calibration mode. Every gauge has two settings. On our stock eliminator temperature gauge, 130 and 40 are our two settings. 40 will change the light from warm to cool, and the 130 is how we set our trigger for our warning light. So first we're gonna show you the light. So we go to 40, you push and hold. The pointer will move between 170 and 80. Each one of those indicate between warm and cool. Once you get to where you want it, you push and hold, the pointer will drop, you release, the setting's done. You cycle power, finished. It's really that simple. So now I'm gonna show you the warning light. Again, power's off. We're gonna push and hold our button the gauge will sweep. You are now in calibration mode again. 130 and 40. 40 is for the light. 130 is for the trigger for the warning light. So we're gonna push and hold. The pointer will drop. Now the pointer indicates where the trigger is gonna be set. You have a low setting and a high setting. For a temperature gauge, we want a high setting because as it goes up, it will trigger. If you had an oil pressure gauge, you'd want to be a low setting, so when you lost oil pressure, it would trigger at whatever poundage or temperature you want. We're gonna push it, the button, and it goes down. Push it again, it goes up. You can do that as many times as you want. I'm gonna set it to 140, and as it climbs, release. I went a little high so I can push it, and there's 140. Again, you can go up or down as many times as you want. Once you get it where you want it, you just let it stop. It will time out and the pointer will drop. Once that pointer drops, the setting is logged. Take away power, add it, and we can show on this piece temperature coming up and as temperature comes up gets close to that 140 you'll see the light turns red and the whole gauge indicates where your trigger was set once it goes down it goes off and